Hi guys, welcome to probably one of the most exciting videos I have ever done. <laughs> now, after work tonight, um, my husband and I went to Jessup's, which if you're not in the UK, that is a camera shop, and we bought ourselves the Canon 600D, so a really good DSLR camera. Um, the reason it's so exciting is that we've been saving up for months to get this, and we finally thought we had enough. So we went in to see, do we want the 600D, do we want the 60D? And after playing with them both, I much prefer the 600D, which is great because it's the cheaper camera. So if you want to put it up to full high definition, go ahead. And hopefully you'll see this in lovely clarity, looking all pretty. Not me, but the quality of the video. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited. So and I was due to film a video tonight anyway, um, so I just thought, how perfect to christen the camera than to film a video with you guys. And this is a kind of a different video than I would normally do because it's a very chatty video as well. So um, part of the video, well, the video was just going to be about my new hobby. Now it's a little bit about my camera as well because it is so beautiful and I'm so happy with it. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to editing this because I think it's going to be good fun. So without further ado, I'm going to get on with the video, which is about my new hobby. Now I'll tell you the story. About, um, I'd say probably about four months ago now, I, I was at my in-laws house and I had a text from my uh, good friend saying, hey, how do you want to learn, not how do you want to learn, do you want to learn to knit together? And I thought, hmm, yes, yes I do. I'd seen in the blogger community like lots of people sort of talking about knitting and crochet and I thought, oh, I really like crafty stuff like that and I wanted to give it a go. Um, it's very cheap and easy to get into, you just need to buy a pair of knitting needles, which are about two or three pounds, and a ball of yarn, which is anything from about £2.50 up to lots of money, could be like £15, £20, etc. So I bought three sets of knitting needles, so we have this set here, which are they're quite big, these are 10mm, um, these are really good for thick chunky yarn. Um, the four and a half millimetres are the ones that I bought from John Lewis, and then these six millimetre ones, I'm trying to remember where these came from, I bought these in Pembrokeshire. These are just plastic ones, like the big chunky ones, um, and yeah, this is all I've sort of set myself off with, which is enough to kind of do the basics, which is scarves, which is all I've been doing basically. So the very first bit of knitting that I did was with some purple yarn, because purple's like my favourite colour. Um, it started off about this wide, <laughs> which I'm laughing because it ended up this wide. So if I turn it around, you can see it grew quite a bit. <laughs> um, I think that's something that's really common when you start, but you like add stitches and you're like, I don't know how I did that. Um, and I also dropped stitches, so like, I don't know if you can see the hole that's here, I'll poke my finger through it. <laughs> Stuff like that, there's, there's a couple of those, like here. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this wasn't the best bit, but this is how I learned. Um, I learned via a YouTube video, which I'll link below because I found it really useful. So if you're looking, if you're like thinking of learning to knit but you're not really sure like where to start, um, that video is really amazing. I found it really useful because I don't have like a family member to teach me, so I thought this would be this would be great. I thought the video would be great. Um, and I just sat down and I just learned to cast on and I added rows and then I'd make mistakes and I'd undo them, like I'd undo everything I'd done and I'd just start again and again and again. And eventually it sunk in and I learned how to do it. <laughs> um, so once I did that, I moved on to another project, which was another scarf, but again I still wasn't very good. So again it started off this wide <laughs> and ended up this wide. So again, it sort of got a bit longer and there was a couple of sort of drop stitches along the way as well. But um, all in all, this was much better. As you can see, I knitted sort of quite a lot. Um, so once I did that, I moved on to a couple of projects and because this was so far before Christmas, I thought, great, I'll go out, buy loads of yarn and I will knit scarves for everyone for Christmas. Um, but little did I know or plan my six weeks to two months leading up to Christmas were insanely busy. I didn't have so much as one evening to myself, which was crazy. Um, so I didn't get much time to knit, but I did manage to knit four scarves, which I think is pretty good. <laughs> um, now all of the other scarves I have given away as gifts, um, and they were all pretty decent. I've done two cowls, uh, which wrap around twice, um, a normal scarf for my stepdad, and a normal scarf for me. Now, I did mention that my favourite colour is purple and I wasn't lying. Um, I made myself a fairly narrow scarf 
and I don't know if you can see that it kind of changes the sort of the purple as you go sort of trying to get it in the light there so you can see yeah um, really beautiful um, and this was an insanely cheap um, yarn it's 95% acrylic 5% polyester so there's not actually any wool in it but it's this ball here <laughs> and this was twice the size before it cost me five pounds it's super soft and um, there's still like half of it left so I could make another one of these scarves again and this scarf is insanely long it must be about over two meters long um, yeah it's that's it wrapped over sort of twice and you can see and it goes it keeps going it keeps going it keeps going and then you get the bottom um yeah but this is lovely it's warm it's soft absolutely fantastic and this cost me £2.50 to make £2.50 so cheap you would struggle to buy a scarf for £2.50 in the shops so basically I've taken up knitting I absolutely love it um, I find it really therapeutic. If you're looking for a hobby that is quite relaxing and you can kind of focus on doing it but take in everything that's going on around you as well, you don't need to concentrate too much, then I'd really recommend knitting. Um, you know, I taught myself by watching the YouTube video. It cost me about £7.50 to start to learn. It was even less than that, it was like £6. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it. Would highly recommend it as a pastime. I know it's kind of a bit of a, a grand thing to do, <laughs> but you know, I think a lot of younger people are starting to knit as well. From what I've seen in the blogging community, a lot of people are starting to knit. Um, so one of the things I want to do this year as well, apart from knitting a friend of mine who's pregnant, apart from knitting her unborn baby, um, like a bonnet and some booties, um, I want to learn to crochet because that looks like really good fun as well. And I don't know if it's any easier than knitting, but I'm really scared to move on with my knitting and actually learn a pattern because that really scares me because <laughs> it seems really difficult and I've learnt scars and that's all I can do, just knit rows of stuff. So um, so I think I need to experiment and learn some new stitches and some new things. So um, basically, if you know of any good videos for teaching different things with knitting or anything like that, feel free to recommend them um, in the comments below. Um, or um, on Twitter, I'm at Twinkling Pixie. Feel free to tweet anything to me if uh, YouTube doesn't let you put it in a comment. Um, yeah. If you are starting out in knitting and you don't like learning from videos, you because everyone learns differently, there is a book which I got which is really good and it's called Nitty Gritty. Um, again, I'll link that one in the info bar below as well because this was recommended to me and from what I can tell, most books are written so that it's from the perspective that you already know how to knit and so it's just kind of giving you different patterns well this book is written like you've never done anything with knitting before you don't know what anything is or what anything means and there's patterns in there to follow things like hot water bottle covers um, cushion covers, scarves, hats, gloves, things like that kind of, you know, uh, the, the sort of things that you would expect to knit if you take up knitting so yeah, that I think that was around eight or ten pounds something along those lines but that may have been with delivery I'm not quite sure but it wasn't expensive it wasn't like you know 30 pounds or anything but um but yeah I'll link that in the info bar below for you so you can take a look but um thank you guys for watching that's about it really um if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos like chatty ones and ones where I talk about my hobbies um let me know in the you know in the comments just let me know and because these are really fun for me to do I really enjoy doing these um, also let me know if you're liking the new camera, I know I am, <laughs> so um, I'm really looking forward to finishing this now so I can edit it and get it up ready for you for Saturday morning, which is hopefully when you'll be seeing this. Um, but again, thank you guys for watching and I hope you're all having an amazing day and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!